Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about what's important when purchasing a wig. There's a lot of things that go into consideration when uh, purchasing a wig. The cap, the color, the length, and the texture of the fiber. Will you be doing a full just synthetic? Will you be doing an HD synthetic, which is heat defiant? Will you be doing human hair? All three of those things are something very important to consider because there's price ranges that vary vastly across that area. I'm going to talk about what I carry most of in my inventory today. Mostly what I carry is heat defiant wigs and synthetic wigs. I do have some human hair wigs, but unfortunately since COVID, human hair has gone up tremendously, which really makes it hard for a retailer to keep it sitting on her shelf. So um, I like to, I, I want to talk to you how you're going to know the difference and what to buy. There's a big difference as far as price and longevity. Price and longevity are really huge in this business. Um, so today we're going to start with what I have here. This is what I'm, I'm going to call just a nice basic wig. This is not a high in line wig. I'm intentionally using this wig because it's kind of a mess on this side and this side's not right now. So this whole wig was like this. And so what I did is I straightened it partially on this side and left this kind of frizzy and curly so I can show you how we're going to make this look better. Okay. So this is, again, like I said, it's not my, one of my best high-end line wigs, but it's a great demo. So um, this is a heat-friendly fiber wig. This wig is made of a wefted cap. There is no lace in the front. This is nothing more than a wefted cap. No mono part, no lace, nothing. It's just pretty basic, okay? So when, you, when you're making a purchase of a wig, this is a wig that I would consider more of what I call a play wig, a fantasy wig, not a real business wig, not, not what you would want to wear if you were employed as a professional woman. Um, this is gonna be great for dressing up for the young girl that, who, who wants a night out on the town. This is gonna be great for just playing more than anything. So I will be showing you how we will take and put uh, a protector on this fiber. I like to put a protector on my fiber, on all my heat defiant wigs. I like to use Restore. This wig protector keeps this from burning and it keeps the longevity up and it keeps it shiny and it makes this fiber to be used longer. So you, when you pay for a wig, you'll get as much out of it as you can. So I like to use Restore. I'll be telling you about that more later. Um, the other thing we're going to talk about is cap. I have a few demonstrations. This is what we call a wefted cap right here. This is nothing more than a wefted basic cap. Again, not going to be the highest in line, but great for a starter. Now I'm going to talk to you about a really nice cap. This wig has some nice whistles and bells to it. If you'll notice, it's got a lace front, a lace part, and it's wefted. This is a heat defiant wig. This is one of my best selling lines. I wear this line myself personally in 10 different styles at least. And anything new that comes in, I buy it and I wear it. So I'm gonna draw your attention to a few things here. First of all, this wig, when you touch it, it has the feel of natural hair. It feels very natural, it feels very real. This wig has just been out of the box this week. It's fairly new in inventory. But if you come up here and you look really close on it, you would actually see a line of lace. So what you do is you cut this back so that it looks like it's growing outside of your scalp, which gives you what I consider a whistle and bell. If you wanted to wear it off your face, you could. If you wanted to wear it partially down, you could. So that gives you some options. So this is what we call a lace front, lace part, wefted cap. All 
Okay, the next one we're gonna look at is a hand tied cap. Fabulous, this wig is fabulous. It is one of the newest ones on the market. I came into this wig when I was at uh, school, I learned about this wig that was gonna be launching, and this is a hand tied cap. If you look at this wig, there's no wefting. That means every piece of hair is actually tied into the cap, which gives a marvelous fit on the cap. It also has the lace front, has a little bit of a gripper band here, not necessary for everybody, but for some people it is. If you're completely bald and have no hair, this little gripper band can give you a lot of help. The back of this cap has Velcro. All wig caps usually have Velcro or a little kind of, um, like a little small bra strap back here at the back, okay? This wig fits like a glove. When you put this wig on someone's head, it literally just comes around and cups it, it's secure, it feels really great. Um, if you'll notice on this one, we're gonna have what we call lace, lace to lace front, corner to corner. That means that the lace on this wig is gonna start here and come all the way down the sides so that if you wanted to wear it completely back. Now remember, this is a mannequin, but when it's on a real head, you have a lot more forgiveness because you actually have flesh tone and not that, that tone behind it, uh, not, not the black like you see here. So this is a heat defiant wig. Um, this has got three different colors in it. One reason I like working with this company so much is because their color, their color palette is amazing. Um, I like the idea that it's got the roots. I don't know, right now, the roots are in trend. They're in trend. Uh, even natural colors that are coming in that I'm doing on the other side, we're putting a root or a root smudge in it and then creating highlights off of that. So um, this is a three-toned three wig. I sell this wig a lot. Um, it's, very, it's very conducive for a lot of different colors of skin. So if you're, if you're a little bit darker, you got some dark to pick that tone up. If you're lighter, you have the light. It wears well on a lot of different complexions. I think that's why it's, it fits so many people so well is because it does have so many nice colors in it. So this is a hand tied cap, lace front, heat friendly wig. All right, we're gonna go here to A shorter wig. This is also a hand tied cap. This is also heat defiant. This is just like the other one, except it's a shorter version. I think it's important that people know that wigs come in all kind, everything from a pixie to, you know, to the bottom of your waist. Um, I myself prefer most wigs be at the shoulder line. And I'll tell you, we'll go into more of that as to why. So this wig is also a three color wig. This also is a heat defiant fiber. This also has the lace front. You know, one thing that I have found and mastered in this business since I got into wigs 15 years ago is every wig looks great in a picture. Every wig, every color is the perfect color online and it's the perfect color on the book. But when you get it, in your hands and you look at it, it's lots of times nothing at all, like what the picture or the color is. As a retailer, I've even had that problem where I've ordered, you know, a nice big order with the newest color, the newest trend, and it gets here and it's just nothing like what I ordered. It happens to all of us. So it's real important that you know how to work with your wigs. And that's what's gonna kind of set me apart is I know how to take this wig and personalize it and cut it to fit your face. For example, if you come in and you have a little bitty forehead like this, say you have two fingers or three fingers of a forehead, not a full four. We have to work with, I like to work with, how much forehead do you really need? If you have a little bitty forehead and I take this wig and I pull it down, I just closed your head in that much. So that's where the personalization comes in. I'm really big on making sure that the wig fits the contour to your face, your cheeks, your chin, the sides of your hair, the, uh, the sides of your head. 